Smart Garage Lock presented to you by Adrian Lopez Macoran and Cesar Nieves. The following are two examples of the current solutions followed by example of the garage safety and why it is important to have a smart garage locked. Here's the safety concern for when you do not have a lock on the garage door and how easy it is to open it. Next, we will show the force sensor followed by a demonstration in the code. The force sensor is used to determine if there is a forced entry to the garage. The force sensor works as a variable resistor, meaning that when force is applied to the sensor, the resistant level goes up. Based on this, we have designed a voltage divider circuit to send notifications when voltage goes over the threshold, 3 volts. We designed the circuit with a fixed 5K ohm resistor. We decided to apply a 5K ohm resistor because it allows the full range of voltage between 0 and 5 volts. Here we have our voltage divider circuit with the four sensor connected to the microcontroller, the code running, the serial port reading locked, locked, locked until the circuit detects a force. So that's a change in the resistance which senses a change in the voltage that we have set to 3 volts that will indicate that there has been a forced entry. The next sensor we will be showing will be a PIR sensor followed by a demonstration. The PIR sensor detects when there is motion in the garage. This sensor is intended for um, when someone is exiting the garage. The PR sensor is programmed using the Arduino microcontroller using C++ to determine the sensitivity of the movement and the delay in between the motion detected. The PIR sensor has three pins, BDD, um, which is between five volts, three volts and five volts, ground and digital output, and a sensing view range of 110 degrees. The following shows the motion sensor connected to our breadboard to the microcontroller, our code. It's very sensitive, so as soon as we started it, it automatically detected motion and unlocked. Next, we will talk about the ultrasonic sensor followed by the code and demonstration. The ultrasonic sensor is used to detect when the homeowner is arriving. The ultrasonic sensor is programmed using the Arduino microcontroller using C++ to determine what distance we want the sensor to unlock the lock. The following will show the diagram for the sensor. The ultrasonic sensor has four pins, VDD at 5 volts, the trick pin, echo pin, and ground, and works with 15 milliamps, and has a detection distance of between 1 centimeter to 13 feet. This is a presentation of the ultrasonic sensor. Our parameters are set to 10 centimeters for demonstration purposes. When it's less than 10 centimeters, it unlocked simulating arriving home. When it's more, it locks. The following will show our code. Next is our final project completed, mounted on the garage, followed by the demonstration with the garage door app working. All right, so it's just going. Okay, we are testing the garage lock. Go ahead. Garage door closed. Now, if we wanted to do it manually with uh, the app, we just go garage door open, it opens, and then we will see it close right now. There it is. So next we're going to show a forced entry. That is when somebody or tries to open the garage door, this will send force and it will send a notification to the app. Go ahead. There it is, forced entry with the timestamp.